So, in this screencast, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, organic group membership types. Uh, this new chapter, uh, I'm going to talk about mem uh, membership management, and first out is the membership types. Um, when you, uh, let's actually switch here to another browser. I'm not logged in here. It's the same site, but I'm not logged in. I'm logging in as a test user. If I go to a group I'm not member in, I can see this link to request group membership and if I click on it I can uh, enter a request message. Uh, this is managed by something called membership types in organic groups and if you as administrator go into configuration organic groups and OG membership types you can see that we have one default membership type here. <clears throat> if I click on manage fields you see that I have a request message here which corresponds to this request, me request message here. Uh, the skilled Drupalist uh, recognizes immediately that membership types are entities, fieldable entities in uh, Drupal, and that is absolutely true. It's tea time here. Actually, it's a pretty early morning in Sweden and the sun is barely rising, but the clouds are so thick that you cannot see the sun anyway. Uh, this is a dark time of the year in Sweden. Um, so, we can add new fields here, just to give an example, let's call this uh, uh, diploma. For, uh, diploma. For some reason you have to uh, upload a, a copy of your diploma th or something uh, when applying for this group. LG membership diploma. I'm going to call this, this will be a file, 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 save. Let's just uh, keep keep everything to defaults. Here it's public files. If you go into configuration, I think it's media file system, you can set up something to manage private files too. I'm not going into that right now. You can find that in the Learn Drupal 7 screencast series if you want to. So now I have two fields here and if I reload, I get a diploma here uh, as a new field. Uh, this is for the default membership type. You can add new membership types as well. I'm going to call this another membership type. And then we can add fields to the other membership type. Another field. Uh, OG membership. Another. Let's have here. I don't know, a list of text is good. Alpha, beta, gamma. Great. Great, great. There we go. Uh, now, one of the problems here is that uh, as uh, outsider, I cannot really select which membership type I uh, want to use when I apply for a membership. If I click request group membership here, uh, I get the default one, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, you would maybe expect this to be configurable at uh, content types group uh, manage display, I guess. The node that is a group here has a field that determines that it's a group and this one is displayed right now as a group subscription link. And here you would expect some kind of button here to, to get uh, to, to be able to select which membership types you should be able to use. Or maybe you should be able to do the same thing over at organic groups and uh, global permissions. Get a list of all the membership types here and have a checkbox saying use this membership type to, to apply for membership. Uh, this is being discussed over at this issue, 1164.428. Um, uh, pretty good um, discussion, uh, have a look at it, and please uh, enter your own uh, thoughts about how this should be solved in the best way. Now, organic groups is, of course, as a Drup any Drupal module, something that is being evolved and developed all the time. All right, but you can still use these different memberships as an administrator, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because if I now go to home, uh, another group, here's a group, and if I click on the group tab 
and add people I can now select the membership type. We see here when you add someone you have the fields for the membership type and if you change the membership type the fields are changed. So now I have alpha, beta, gamma here instead. Uh, that's pretty slick uh, but it should be possible to do something similar to that as a uh, when, when you apply yourself for a group membership. In the next screencast I'm going to show you the, the workflow for applying for membership in groups and how uh, mem uh, applications are approved and things like that. Um, right, that's kind of it. Uh, organic group membership types are used for applying for membership in groups. You, there's a, someone here, Fago, I think, uh, suggesting that we call them membership subscriptions instead, which might make sense. Uh, then you can have uh, rules uh, al allowing, well, uh, removing a membership after, say, six months or, or something, or you have to renew it periodically or, or something. The membership types are only used for getting the, uh, the membership uh, for a group, becoming a member of it. Uh, and you can tie different events to it with, with the rules, or you can have stuff listed in views and things like that. Um, but, but they in themselves do not do very much. They collect information in their fields, and that's it. Um, okay, yeah. See you in the next screencast, then we're going to look at the workflow for becoming a member. See you there. Goodbye.